you are about to join us on an adventure. My name is Wanger Wedgie, intrepid explorer, former marine, Bible lover, and friend to animals everywhere. I've traveled the four corners of the globe, climbed mountains, forged rivers, and faced countless dangers to bring you the world's most interesting creatures. This is Quitter Kingdom. is Safari Sam. Now, can you guys say Safari Sam with me? Say it with me. Safari Sam. Wait, say it one more time. Safari Sam. No, you're making fun of me. You're saying Safari Sam. It's Safari Sam. <laughs> All right, try it again. Safari Sam. <laughs> Close enough. Okay, so I have been on safari in the deepest jungles of Africa. So... Ranger Reggie has called me here by way of native drum to the land of South Africa. Now, let's see it on the map. South Africa is 7,973 miles away from Florida. Whoa! Now, can you say South Africa? Ah, oh, that's well. Well, welcome aboard the Safari Express! Oh, I love that. Well... Ranger Reggie told me to meet him here, but since he's late, I guess I'll have to introduce this week's creature feature! I like to move it, move it. If Handsome knows this week's creature feature. Come on out, Handsome. Oh, hey, Handsome. Long time no see. Say hi to the kids, Handsome. All right. So do you know this week's animal, Handsome? You do? Great. What is it? You can't tell me. Why? Oh, it's a surprise. I love surprises. Well, can, can you give us a hint? Not even a little one? Well, thanks anyway, Handsome. Bye, handsome. Well, kids, this week's featured creature is a surprise. Huh, I wonder what it could be. Maybe it's a hippopotamus. No, that wouldn't fit on the train. Ooh, what if it's a great white shark? No, they can't, they can't survive without water, right? I know, I've got it. This week's creature feature has to be a sea serpent. No. Those ain't even real. Well, I don't know, kids. I'm sorry. I, I don't know how we're going to... Oh, there he is! I'm throwing up weight. Hello. Hello, oh, oh, children. Oh my Hello, Safari Sam. Oh, what have you got there? Where? Right there. Oh, him. Oh, <laughs> this is Ozzy. Yeah, Ozzy is an ostrich. That's right. Ostriches are very large, white whispers. Oh, and yet, and since they can't fly, they are built to run very fast. They can go up to 40 miles an hour. That's right. <laughs> And the reason that they won so fast is because they're great big cowards. Oh, yeah. It's true. Yeah, ostriches are really afraid of everything, and they're afraid of large animals like lions and hyenas, so they don't want to fight. Many people think that ostriches bury their head in the dirt, but what they really do is they just lay down and they put their head in the sand and pretend that they're just a big pile of dirt to fool their predators. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that silly? <laughs> It is, yeah. Ostriches really have these long legs that are strong enough to kill a lion with a single blow. And instead, they run away like great big sissies. <laughs> they're not very smart, are they? <laughs> I mean, no, they're not smart at all. In fact, they're completely ridiculous, we foolish. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What'd you do that for? I was just telling the kids how dumb ostriches are. Oh, stop. no. Oh, stop it. You behave yourself. I think you, you made a mad ranger, Reggie. No, 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 stop it, stop it. Oh, you think that's funny, huh? Well, you better cut it out. I'm warning you. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, 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 let go, let go, no. ah. You gotta you stop that. You gotta be careful what you say, ranger, Reggie. I know, Reggie. now don't you do that. Ah. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. Ah, get up, get up. Oh, no. Okay, I got you. 
got you. You got it? I got you. Now, you better behave yourself. We don't want the kids here. We don't want anybody getting hurt. You're going to be good? You better be good. Okay. Are you third thing, Ranger Reggie? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's too dumb to even know what we're talking about. Oh, ah! yeah. oh no! Ah! Ranger! Ah! 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 I think you got to put him in his cage. I'm going to put you back in your cage. Are you going to behave yourself now? <laughs> you promise? <laughs> okay. If I let you go, you won't attack anymore, right? Okay. I don't think it's safe, Ranger Reggie. Oh, you think it's funny? Now you behave yourself. I think he's fine. Okay. Yeah, he wouldn't dare attack me again. Oh, no! Oh, no, Ranger I Reggie! Put him in his cage. Don't okay. put him in his cage. Back. Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh man! Get in. That was insane! Get in that cage! Oh, I hope Ranger Reggie's okay! Get in that cage, you! Let go! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh no! Oh, no, Ranger Reggie, are you all right? Yeah. Smart enough to outsmart me. Ow! Oh man. Now Africa is a great big continent. It's got wilderness and wildlife for miles and miles. And out of all the ostriches in all of the rainforests in the entire continent of Africa, it looks like we got the most aggressive one. Oh. <laughs> now you stay in that cage, Ozzy, or else. Woo. <laughs> That Ooh. ostrich is really stubborn. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know, he kicks hard. <laughs> I know. I wonder why ostriches just choose to hide instead of defend themselves. It seems like a waste of their natural strength and talent. Yeah, and speaking of talents, that's what today's Bible story is all about. Oh my Let goodness. me get out the Bible right now. <laughs> Today's story is the parable of the talents. All right. Oh, now, so far we say, this story has too many characters. I can't tell it all by myself. Well, why don't we ask the kids to help us? That's a great idea, Safari Sam. Yeah, let's get... Oh, how about you? Have you been up here before? Yeah, come on up. All right. All right. And uh, come on up here. let me right see here. who else. Yes, you and the weapon. And how about right. a boy? Yeah, Very Captain Milka, okay, you come on up. Stand right all here. All right. I think we got everybody. All right, we got all one, right, one, two, up. two. Oh, scoot on over all here. Right. Come on that scoot side. On over there here. you go. Good. Right over here. Excellent. All right, guys, you got it. <laughs> all right. Right here. All now, right. This is a parable about a master who was going away, so he called his servants and trusted each one of them with some of his money. Oh. He trusted them to use that money to make more money for the master. All right, I've got the talent, and the talents were coins that were very valuable. Mm -hmm. So he gave the first servant five talents. All right, so here you are, your five talents. And then he gave the second servant oh. two talents. Two talents. All right. And he gave the last servant one talent. Here is your one talent. Then the master went away. <laughs> All right. Now let's see what those servants did with their talents. I believe, if my memory serves me correctly, mm -hmm. the first servant used his talents to earn five more talents. So here you are. Put your talents in your bank. Excellent. And earn five more. Very good. Now, the second fellow How put his work? two talents to work and earned two more talents. So, worse. get the second fellow's bank. All right, here is the second bank. Deposit those. Right. Very good. Hold now, what about this last fellow? Oh, well, the last fellow was lazy. So, he didn't do anything with his one talent. Oh. He just buried it, hiding it in the dirt. Wow, how convenient. I have a box of dirt right here. There All right, you go. bury your talent. All right, bury it in there. All right, shake it up. Shake it up and bury it, and that is yours. Good job. All right, so your master is getting ready to leave. So you all take a seat on the Safari Express. Hold on to it. Get, take a seat on the Safari Express. All right, all aboard. Next up, Tucky T. Dip. All right, let's see what happens when the master comes home. All right, I am home. Wow, that was a long journey. <laughs> the first fellow came out and said, Master, go over to your master, and said, Master, you trusted me with five talents, and I earned Five more. All right, let's open up your bank and see how many talents you have. Whoa! You've got ten talents. That's a good job. Do you guys think that made the master happy? Yeah, yeah I think so. What does the Bible say? Well, let's see. The Bible says his master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. That is a very happy master. High five. All right, now you stand right over there. Yeah, come right on next to Ranger Ranger. There you go. All right. 
The second fellow came out Woo. and said, Master, you trusted me with two talents and I earned two more. All right, let's open up your bank and see how many talents that you have. Wow, you earned four talents. Do you guys think they made the master happy too? <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> what did the Bible say? His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Ah, uh, that is one happy master high five. Good job. Well, what about this last fellow with the box of dirt? <laughs> well, the servant who had just one talent up. came to the master and said, I was afraid, so I hid your talent in the ground. Here it is. Okay, let's dig up your talent. Oh, you've just got the one talent. Well, well I'm afraid to even ask. What, what did the Bible say what the master said? The master told the West servant that he should have at least put the money in the bank so he could earn interest. The master took the talent away from the servant and blew him out. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I, I blame myself. I should have helped you set up a 401k. Well, um, what did the master do with the one talent? The master gave that talent to the servant with the ten talents because he had been faithful to use what he had been given. So the master trusted him with even more. Well, hey, let's give a big round of applause for our servant helpers. You guys Good can have a job, seat. Good job, guys. guys. Oh, well, right. have Thank a seat you right really over much. here. Thank you. All right, guys. All right. Oh, man. Well, that is some parable. Let's, yeah, I know. Take a look. That one with the box of dirt was pretty amazing, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I guess you can have this. I don't know. Do you want? Do you, where, no, do you no, want no, the, no, no, no. She doesn't want a box of dirt. No. Oh, I, I just feel, I just feel so sad. I mean, she got nothing. But see, don't you see? That's what God is trying to teach us through the story. He wants us to be faithful to use all the gifts that He has given us, and that He has trusted us with. We should use all the strengths and gifts that God gives us to build his kingdom. God trusts us to try our best, and he'll do the rest. <laughs> that is very true. If we are faithful with the gift that God gives us, then he will multiply our, our goodness. <laughs> That's right. And God doesn't want us to well, run away like the silly ostrich or hide. <laughs> yeah, the ostrich just pretends to be a, a little bit of dirt like this. <laughs> yeah, they really are the dumbest creatures, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Oh! Come here. You can All help right. me. Help me out. Here. All right. Ooh, there you go. Ostrich. Stand up here. And All so right. I have an important question. What does the fox say? Whoa, 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 wait. That was so not my question. What the fox say? Well. My question is, what does the ostrich say? Oh, what does an ostrich say? What does it say? Anybody have an idea? What does say? Oh, 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 because what I think. How about y'all? Oh, oh, oh. Awesome. So let's sing our Camp Critter song. Let's get that train started. All right. I spied an ostrich running by. Jumped on a train, let out a cry. Ah, ah, ah. If you'll just try, God will multiply All aboard now, don't be shy The ostrich is here to lead the way Ah, ah, ah Seagull is here to lead the way Mine, mine, mine The turkey is here to lead the way Gobble, gobble, gobble The ant is here to lead the way Chomp, chomp, chomp The black bear to lead the way. Growl, growl, growl. The earthworm is here to lead the way. Swish, swish, swish. The falcon is here to lead the way. Call, call, call. Let's go to Camp Venture today. Woo, woo. Oh, that was great. Great job. I so thought that was a little slow. 
Faster? Okay, faster? Well, let's do it. Here we go. I spied an ostrich running by. Jumped on a train, let out a cry. If you'll just try, gotta multiply. All aboard now, don't be shy. Ostrich is here to lead the way. at that. Do you think we might can go a little faster? Oh my goodness! Oh yeah. Let's go. A little bit faster. Come on. I spied an ostrich running by. Jumped on a train, let out a cry. Oh, oh, oh. If you'll just try, gotta multiply. All the boys now don't be shy. The ostrich is here to lead the way. Oh, oh, oh. is here to lead the way. Let's go to Camp Venture today. Woo! 